How's it going, YouTube? Today I got a QSP. Don't buy a lot of QSPs, but where's the label? Got the Hedgehog. The QS142-D, made in China. Not much in the box. A couple stickers. Have an off day. They put about the same stickers in all their boxes. Got a card. The specs. Kind of like that that's on there. And some foam. That's about it. That's all you need. You just need the knife. Here's the beautiful knife. I was going to get the micarta since it was cheaper. These were on sale. It's got a beautiful red carbon fiber with this jig pattern on it. Not sure what it's called, but it feels nice. Got a nice smooth back spring. And the blade sticks out plenty far enough for you, for you to grip on it. Plus it's got the nail neck. Nice half stop. No snap. You got a really satin blade that picks up everything. It's 14C28N. And I'd call this a sheep's foot cleaver style blade. With a really deep hollow grind. Which makes me really happy. Don't see a lot of hollow grinds lately. This is one of the best ones I've seen in a while. That makes me think of the uh, Jimbo. Anyways, um, this is a slip joint as you see. My first slip joint I've ever bought. Um, just wanted to try them out. I think I picked up a good one. These retail for 85 bucks, which is a bit pricey, but the my Carta ones are $57. I think that's a little bit better for this. But I guess the carbon fiber might be worth the extra $18. I'm not sure. Got the triangle logo. I'm not really sure why they picked that. But anyways, let's get to it. 2.9 inch blade. And I got a 2.9 millimeter blade stock, or .113. The knife measures in at 6.6 .6 inches, which makes it more on the smaller sides, but I'd say it's not quite a fifth pocket carry. Let's compare it to a few other knives. CJR. CJRB Feldspar, which was one of my first knives. The Civivi Mini Praxis. It is smaller than both of those, but closer to the Mini Praxis. Both two great budget knives. Fox Edge A Tracks and the Petrified Fish Mini Beluga. It, it's again smaller than both of these, but pretty close to the Mini Beluga. Ooh, about cut myself. Two more. The Best Tech Bandit. And the Tucson TS-174. These are a little bit closer to the right size. The Tucson might be a hair longer, but it's about the same as the Best Tech. I'd say if you've got medium sized hands, this knife's good enough for you. If you got bigger than that, it might be a touch small for you because even with medium sized hands this is a uh, tight um, 
As you can see, no pocket clip. Most slip joints come like that. But you can get some. It didn't come up the slip either, which is unfortunate. The handle, they got 0 .49 inches and it's running with uh, copper washers. As you know, slip joints aren't about action per se. Now I keep touching that blade. Got a lanyard hole. And uh, this knife came really sharp. I was kind of impressed. The sharpening's pretty even. Um, it's got good tension. So, so when you got it open, it's not going to close too easy. I've never viewed a slip joint, so I don't really know what to talk about. Go over a few things I dislike or I'm not, I would change, of course. You got T6s. I won't keep saying that until it's different. And this seems to be a QSP problem all, all through the board. They don't do sharpening tools on no, none of their knives. They just don't want you to sharpen your knife, I guess. And, um, don't have a pocket clip, which is okay if it would have came with a slip, but I guess for this price, you can't expect too much. But yeah, this is a great slip joint if you're into slip joints, and I would recommend it to anyone. So subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll try to link it down below.